for um, uh, high tumor burden advanced stage patients. Generally, most doctors will treat with chemoimmunotherapy, and it really is uh, uh, there's there's differences among practice in between that rituximab versus obinutuzumab choice, and between the CHOP CVP bendamustine choice. My personal practice has been to be influenced by the gallium study, which demonstrated that obinutuzumab appears to be achieving better progression-free survival compared with rituximab when combined with any of those three chemotherapy regimens. And so my personal first choice uh, has been obinutuzumab since those data come out. That said, that that choice puts me in the minority. I think we know that probably more doctors in the country are choosing rituximab over obinutuzumab, and that's okay. That's because there's you know there's no known survival advantage to obinutuzumab over rituximab. It does add some toxicity. Some doctors have been using rituximab for much longer and are more comfortable with it. So there's those factors that can lead uh, docs with with good argument to choose rituximab over obinutuzumab. 